Welcome to Model Trains 365. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to install a Keep Alive capacitor bank into the Athern Genesis MP15 locomotives. This particular unit is from Athern's 2023 production run and came with a factory installed Tsunami 2 sound decoder. The first step of the install is to remove the locomotive shell from the chassis. This is done by removing the coupler box screws from both ends of the locomotive. Once the coupler pockets are removed and out of the way, carefully lift up on the shell to remove it. I found that pulling up near the front and rear steps make this a simple task. Always take care when removing the shell to avoid putting unnecessary strain on any of the locomotive's wiring. Now that the shell is off, you can clearly see the factory installed decoder, the motherboard, and a good spot in which to place the Keep Alive pack. I removed the decoder by carefully prying up on it with a small flathead screwdriver. This specific decoder is a TSU 21P NEM8. For smaller locomotives like this MP15, the KA2 Keep Alive from TCS works perfectly. Its small size still provides plenty of capacitance to keep these locomotives from stuttering on the layout. Once removed from the packaging, you can see it only has two wires, just a positive and a negative leading into the capacitor pack. To give you an idea of its size, here it is next to the locomotive's coupler box. I took a small piece of double-sided tape and centered the Keep Alive onto the locomotive chassis. You can see it's a perfect fit. The next and possibly most difficult part of the install is soldering the leads to the locomotive's motherboard. The black wire is the ground and it goes to pin number 20. The blue positive wire gets connected to pin 16. I float a small amount of solder into the wires prior to placing them. This makes for a cleaner install and helps ensure you're not putting an excessive amount of heat onto the motherboard. Here I am reinstalling the Tsunami decoder and ensuring it is seated properly. Now it's time to put the shell back on. This is where you have to be careful not to pinch any of the leads between the shell and the chassis. Before I put the couplers back on, I'm going to test it out on the main line to make sure everything is working correctly. And here you can see even the small KA2 Keep Alive will power the locomotive for almost 9 seconds on its own. As always, Thanks for watching, and I hope this video gives you some clear guidance for installing a Keep Alive in your own Athern MP15. Don't forget to hit the like button, save this video for future reference, and subscribe for more model railroading content.